Welcome to the part 6 of the new motor. I have made it something to this. Now I have added that bigger spinning wheel. A very much bigger. <coughs> this is running now 12 volts. Uh, I have also buy it a milliamp meter. This is the scale uh, 100 milliamps is here and here is 20, 40, 60, 80. So it's rubbing 40 amps and here is a 5 amp amp meter is showing not nothing and this is the voltmeter ten volts 11 volts and uh, let's shoot on the light to see the neon here is the neon and uh, this is connected to the positive and if i put this here it sparks and the neon i get lot of sparks if i put that there Okay, <coughs> next I'll we add the diode bridge and the capacitors and I connect it to, to the loopback. The motor runs uh, slower then but it produces back spikes to the battery, a bigger back spike. Okay, I have connected this now and uh, I have connected it back and uh, the positive is directly a negative is through this shift switch the, I, ha I can have the timing when I put the spike back to the battery Here's the voltage what is making when it goes down then it goes back to the battery let's see the meter Here I have noticed the amp meter goes down to the other way. That is is power to the battery from the motor. It's draining now 20 because this this is this is draining some energy. The speed is now this very very little speed because the loop back the loop back does not work directly. It it needs some electronics. If I shoot out the motor like this, the battery has 11.72 and put motor back on.
Okay, let's put some speed to this thing. Let's hope the metal does not break. Let's give more speed by hand. Rooms. Okay, I have connected, disconnected that. This is the new motor. The coil is 200 ohms. This is the normal spikes coming from the commutator. This motor can run a bike. <laughs> it's fifty volts, and it's driving. 60 milliamps on room 7 faster now it's full speed I have also tried this and I have noticed the flywheel it's making more power to this motor the bigger flywheel is the more power it's giving out from the axle I can get this running with 24 volts and these are all shortcutted and this runs with the flywheel but if I put this little flywheel here this two of them then it's not run it stops It stops. This is only for for to see what the motor can take. I'm un unable to make a self-running mode. I don't know what what I should to make. I I maybe also make some electronics to this, and then we'll see what happens. I can put even one battery more. 